your hands up in the sanctuary. Come on and break loose. Forget about your sister. Forget about who's looking at you. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and get God to praise him. I don't hear nobody in here. I want you to make some noise in the place. It's time to make some noise. You've been too solid. You ain't saying nothing. You better open up your mouth and give God to praise him. What he's about to do for you. Look at your legs if you don't want to praise him. Don't hit the me. You better give God to praise him. You better give God to glory. Come on and give him glory. He is worthy to be praised. Somebody say he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. Look at Sandy, so you ain't praising him yet. I'm going to give it the word. But God wants to ask me for the way do so. Because God would have built a move. Somebody said he would have moved. He would have moved in that place. He would have moved you out of your stagnation. He would have moved you out of being complacent and comfortable. He ready to move you out of your comfort zone. It's time for you to move. Come on, come on, time for you to move. Now somebody said you need to move. You've been talking for too long. You're going to let that play. It's time for you to move. Remember that whole shot that was over the house. I feel God here, come on. Take two or three seconds to get out of the way. Come on, say to God, reach out to God real quick and reach out to God. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there you live with Come on, come on. You got a right to praise him. You got a right to give him glory. The God ever did anything for you. You got a right to give God the praise. Quit looking at people. Quit looking at people. Quit looking at you. That person is tonight. Quit looking at them. You ain't got time to look at nobody. You better look at them. You know what's coming here. Help from the hell coming. From the Lord. Put my mind, son. Let my mama go higher. God want to heal the pastor. God want to move in a supernatural way. God want to deliver you on the call tonight. It's time to be made whole tonight. Come on, give God the praise. I don't need to look around. I don't need to spectate. It's time to be a partaker. You've been a spectator too long. But God wants you to get in the flow. He wants you to get the flow and the atmosphere. Come on, and give God the glory. I feel something about the least. I feel something about the I, feel, I don't know about you, but I feel something about being released in the atmosphere. Yeah. That's all you got to do is praise him. That's all he wants you to do is praise him. When you praise him, you provoke your praise him. When you praise him, you provoke the atmosphere. The devil can't stand when you begin to praise him. Because he knows that's what you were going to do. He don't want you to praise the Lord. He wants you to sit there and look around. Sit there for yourself for yourself. Sit there and complain. You ain't got time to complain. It's time to give God the praise. Because he inhabits the praises of the people. My, my, my. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How about shake it up? You can watch it. My Lord, I feel something stirred up. I feel something stirred. Hallelujah to the love of God. See, we want God to do something, but we don't want to set the atmosphere. And how you set the atmosphere and get yourself out the way. And we're looking around and trying to figure something out and you just get caught up in the moment. Shut up and go back. Shut up and So you still trying to figure it out? Somebody say, you still trying to figure it out? That's all you got to do is get yourself out the way and let God have his way. Yes. My God, you will be seated in the presence of the Lord. He's ready to be praised. He's ready to be praised. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. 
It's personal. Yes. Amen. That's why it says, seek out your own soul service yes. with fear and trembling. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm excited tonight yes. and to be here. And I give God the praise for all he is doing. We got yes, to give God the praise for this great leader, this great family, this great overseer. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, so, let's see God the praise for him. And we got to appreciate God for the prophets for sure. Yes, and thank God for you, all of the prophets. The we got to give God the praise for BBM that come out tonight to support your leader. We salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus and we appreciate God for you. Amen. To come out the way and respond and be a part of this great founder's day. Amen. To celebrate this great man of God and for what God is doing. Amen. We couldn't miss it. Amen. Because Apostle has been a great support even right. in the there with yes. different people you have seen. Yes. I've been a support. It's always good amen. when people can support you. It means something. Amen. Yes, yes. Uh, because, amen, some people can't get them. Nobody support them no time. You're right. You're right. You're right. Amen. When somebody can support you and follow you mm -hmm. and, and let you know that they love you. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. Amen, somebody. And I am excited about what God is doing. I believe God want to do some things in life. Amen. But we have to be in an atmosphere yes. and in a mindset to receive yes. from God. He met somebody. He talked about all the things that's going on. Uh, uh, never in history. He may have our soul. These many days away. Never before have you seen the thing that's transpired and taking place like never before. And you, you, you wonder, you would think that the people of God would get in the place with God and would get serious with God. And get a relationship with God for real. But the Bible said, amen, because of iniquity, shall abide. The love of men shall wax cold. 
and such a coldness in the spirit of the people of God. And most of that because of people that got away from God. So you can still be here, but not in God. And there's a lot of people do a lot of things, but don't have no connection with God. Because they never pray to God. We talk about prayer, but we be really engaging in the real prayer. God is helping you up in here because yeah, yeah. you can tell by uh, the, uh, the, the, the aura, you can tell by the color, yeah, you can tell by the yeah, flow, yeah. the culture when people are really praying. Yeah, yeah. You can tell when yeah. people have a prayer life yeah. because it's not yeah. hard for them to connect with God. Right, you got a prayer for life. Come on, you can get into a place. Yeah. Don't matter about the song, don't yeah. matter who's up and, and, and talking and getting the story. Come on, when you come in by yourself, come on, you already connected with God. It yeah. takes too much for the saints of God to get excited or yeah. I mean, come on to get motivated. He already told you how to enter. He said, enter to his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And then he finished saying, be thankful and bless his name. But it takes us too much to get excited about God because the saints of God don't want to pray. We start praying. We won't have all the problems that we have. We start praying. Ain't talking about fleshly prayers. I'm talking about Lord, let me down to sleep, my soul to keep. Ain't talking about that prayer. I'm talking about really engaging in spiritual warfare. Really praying. Come on, in my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You are here for me, help me, and He will heal your land. The reason why He ain't healing out of us because we ain't in the condition. We ain't turning from nothing. We ain't humming ourselves. Come on, sir. We ain't seeking His face. Come on, sir. That's why we ain't got to heal yet. If you do exactly what He say do, you will heal you. He will restore you. He will deliver you. He will bring you out. You can't keep on seeking God and remain in the state that you're in. You ain't seeking God. When you pray and seek God, He'll armor you. He'll break your wheel. He gets you to the point that you ain't got no pride. We got too many people with pride And pride come before Our destruction He's our resistant pride But I give grace to the humble Somebody said humble yourself You ain't that bad You ain't got that much going on Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God And he shall exalt you And do time It ain't time yet Somebody said it ain't time for you to be exalted It ain't time for you to be lifted up yet Come on, so you ain't ready. Come on, somebody. You brag too much. You try to impress too much. Come on, somebody. You know, should call them in titles too much. I already tell them y'all can have the title. But give me the anointing. Because your title ain't going to destroy no young. Oh, we got too many people with titles. And we got operators, but they ain't got no power. Come on, say, I think whatever you call yourself, the anointing ought to be able to match up what you say. But God called a person. The anointing to carry out. Y'all don't want to see nothing in here. So we go going at the titles and positions and all of these kind of things, but ain't no anointing. And it is the anointing that destroys. Look at y'all was shouting a while ago. Y'all ain't shouting right now. Yeah, really, really. See, when it's real, this kind of stuff don't shut it down. See, I told you, we get to the point saying it was real, it was not real, because what you have, the truth to not shut you down. If that was a real shout, you still would praise it. If that was a real worship, you still would praise it. Got the spirit ought to be bad witness with my spirit. Y'all always have to be up in here. That's your name, and neighbor. If it's real, what you were doing, why'd that shut down so quick? We just go into the motions. Yeah. Just doing so because it sounds good. Come on, so this is the right thing to do, but ain't no effectiveness there. No effectiveness there. Y'all ain't helping me right there. Come on, so let's 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 be real.